What's poppin'? It's your boy Mike Powers. I'm about to do something a little bit different today. I usually don't talk about politics, but some people that made me come to the table and let y'all know what I really know. Let y'all know I'm just not a hip hop guy, pop culture dude. It's the black Republicans. So I'm on one. I don't mind if you vote Republican or Democrat. I don't care. That's what America is about. Exercising your exercising your freedom of expression, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, all of that good stuff. It's a free country. Vote for who you want to vote for. The people who are going to affect your life in the most positive way, that's who you should cast your ballot for. So I don't have any problem with the votes. I have no problem with anybody being Republican or Democrat. My problem with the black Trump supporters, especially the ones we see on YouTube, is the way you go about expressing your point of view. Case in point. What's up, Facebook? So, I hear a lot of black people on Facebook talking about they want to move to Africa. Well, move your ass to Africa. I ain't going with you. Fuck that. I buy your passport. Because you know what? People in Africa don't even like blacks in America. So I don't even know why y'all even want to go there. So that's black Republican comedian Terrence K. Williams, who has made the rounds of all the conservative circles, Fox News, whatever conservative convention, the Candace Owens show on Prager U. Candace Owens is another person that's a little bit problematic. This guy sitting up here talking about black people that want to go back to Africa and he's sitting there eating a piece of chicken on camera, like the way he's doing that. Is it a problem with eating chicken? Nah, but we know what the connotation is. We know that a certain people will affix a stereotype to African Americans that we love chicken so much that we are kicking your front door and top your family for a box of chicken. And you're sitting on camera eating it like that on purpose. Who are you trying to appease? Who are you trying to get laughs and clicks from? Whose approval are you seeking? Are you making a serious political argument? You said people in Africa don't like blacks. Aren't there people in America that don't like blacks? So what the fuck are you talking about? So you shouldn't move to Africa because Africans don't like us. Now we know in the black community, it's a conversation that we have all the time. The Africans don't like us. <laughs> and I'm not going to get too deep into that, but that's fine. That's a widely held view in the African-American community. And to some extent, I would say that there's been evidence to support the fact that certain Africans, black Africans that come over to America, don't really get down with the American African Americans. <laughs> Right. But what's your point? Don't move to Africa because Africans don't like us. What about the stuff that we're going through in America? But it didn't stop there. My man Terrence had more to say. And then a lot of people that want to go back, they use government assistance. Well, I hate to break the news, but in Africa, you ain't getting food stamps. You ain't getting no child support check. Most black people that want to go to Africa is already on government assistance on food stamps. Why you think Obama's daddy went back to Africa? Cause he didn't have to pay child support. See, and that's what I'm talking about. Going after Obama's father and using that slander against him. What the fuck is that about? So let me calm down real quick. I, I don't want to get too excited. I want to make this a reasoned discussion and argument on this topic. Let's talk about the policies when we talk about whether or not you should vote Democrat or Republican. Let's talk about the policies. Let's stop casting these aspersions. Let's start with the facts first, right? But you don't do that, Terrence Williams. You just go off and say wild ass shit. Don't worry about police brutality, brutality, whatever you call it, because they don't even got police in Africa, okay? You get shot, you just get shot. So there's no police in Africa. You do know Africa is a continent, right? So on the whole continent of Africa, there's no police force. The fuck are you talking about? And then you went to the go to for the black Republicans. The thing that all racist white people love to hear from a black man. Stop blaming the white man for all of your problems. Don't blame the white man. Cause your damn baby daddy went to jail for shooting up Taekwon. Don't blame the damn white man. Blame the damn self. I could go on for an hour just about that particular side of your argument about how African-Americans blame the white man for everything. But 
Before I get into that, let me do this. Terrence K. Williams, you seem to have a lot to say about black folk getting off the Democrat plantation, about why we should be voting Republican. But here's the thing, much like Sean Hannity, much like Bill O'Reilly when he was on the air, Rush Limbaugh, these type of folks never sit across from somebody, at least not on camera, that genuinely disagrees with them. And Fox News is very good for putting folks on camera who are Democrats who may not be the sharpest Democrats in the drawer. And they will bring those folks on and set them up with a whole bunch of gotcha questions and spin them around in circles, continuously cutting them off for the whole interview until they mock them and shut them down. But they would never have anybody like Dr. Cornell West come and sit in on a regular basis to have a reasoned discussion about these geopolitical and domestic political issues. They are afraid. And I believe Terrence is of the same ilk. So today, the only reason why I made this video today is because Terrence K. Williams, I want to debate you. I want to sit down and have a conversation about why you believe your conservative policies and the person that you support, Donald Trump, is better for African Americans than voting Democrat. I want you to tell me why Maxine Waters is an America hater and why she does not deserve to be listened to. I want you to tell me why Barack Obama was such a bad president. I want to talk about policy. Let's get into this. If you have the balls flat out, if you have the guts to sit down with me, we could do it live. I don't care whose channel. Let's just go me and you mano y mano Democrat versus Republican. Because I am a Democrat, I am a lefty, and I'm ready to have this conversation. Let's not continue to be outlandishly loud and hyperbolic about our views and about attacking the guys on the other side of the aisle. Let's sit down and talk about the issues and let's have a reasoned discussion about why African Americans are in mass voting the wrong way and why they should switch their vote. Terrence K. Williams, this is a challenge. I know you want to convert a lot of people. I know you want to extol the virtues of the Republican Party and your president, Donald J. Trump. Here's an opportunity to talk to a person that you can maybe convert. This is an opportunity to smack down one of those lefties that you've been dying to smack down for so long. Terrence K. Williams, hit me up comment section, email me, make a video, however you want to do it. I'm ready to talk. I'm going to get back with you next week. See what you say. Other than that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.